Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Tech Cousins. I haven't uploaded in a while, but what I've decided for the difference between the Tech Cousins and the Game Cousins, um, on the in the past on the Game Cousins I've made some Unreal Engine videos, but just decided that Unreal Engine videos will probably be best for the Tech Cousins, and the Game Cousins will just be me playing games. And so, because of that, here's the first Unreal Engine video on this channel. So this video is going to be showing you the best way to get ads on your iOS or Android app and this will let you do Google ad mob and then you can integrate it unity ads um, vungle or chart boost and those if you go like um, hold on okay, so if you search up chart boost here right uh, it the supported versions only go up to 4.16 um, so yeah, this won't work. The official plugin. Um, the best way to um, Vungle. I believe they don't have a plugin, right? And um, Google, there's no direct ad. There's no direct one for Google AdMob. So the best way to do this for Android, you can just use the Google AdMob. That's an app, but it's still more difficult to get mediation because you have to put the SDK into your app. So the best way to get this is a plugin called Easy Ads. And I've used this in a few different apps. So this version, there's two different versions. Um, there's the pro version and the free version. But the pro version is very similar. The only differences are in this version, you 2% um, of the time when you, 2% um, of the times that an ad shows it will sh it'll be from for the person who made it it'll go to their account so it's two percent less earnings than if you use the pro version I just use the, the this version the normal version uh, and so basically what you do so I have it installed the engine once you download it it's free right so um, the way you can integrate it he has a tutorial in his plugin but uh, in this uh, in this game right here I have it um, in there so what it can do you can do interstitial banner or rewarded ads and the so you can do all those with Google ad mob by default if you just put in the publisher ID of your account in Google ad mob we'll show you how to set this up in just a moment here um, well actually yeah first I'll just show you um, what you should do on Google Chrome so go to admob.com um, AdMob.com will redirect you to Google, AdMob.Google.com. Uh, sign in with your Google account, as you can see here. Then go to Apps and click. You might, you probably won't have any apps here, so just press Add App. Have you published to the Google Play or App Store? This is important. If you have, press Yes. If you haven't, press No. And then um, enter your app name. So test. Uh, and then pick platform yeah so basically you would just say like iOS add then it'll give you your app ID and you can create a banner or whatever here and if you have yes you can just Google uh, you, you search up here your your app so like for me uh, one of mine is game of rage so um, or it might not show up because I already added it uh, but if if it's not showing up, you can you can um, the link that to your app store. So if you go to the app store and you get the link to your game, and then you paste the last part of it that says ID into right here, it will show up automatically. So that's that's the first part. Then yeah, also if you ever want to delete your apps, just go here, um, test. Like if you if you have one, you're never going to use it. Um, and then app visibility hide, hide, and then it just won't show up. Okay. All right, and then yeah. So here are the different apps. So let's say we're we're working with Game of Rage, right? So um, what we want to do is go to App Settings, and here you can see different things. All right. So I believe my Unreal Engine loaded now. So here in Unreal, we want to do open up the. I believe. Well, you can really do this whatever you want, but. For mine, I had 
I had it in the player. So this is so well of course you would first want to do edit plugins and then enable this and restart your engine. That's the first step because you want to have the easy add plugin enabled. Right? And then when you're in your player, wherever you want in add show either a banner or an interstitial or rewarded. I haven't played with the rewarded ones yet, so I don't know how to do those, but I'm just gonna show you banner and interstitial because those are the most common ones. And I I just use interstitial in here, but you would do the same for a banner. So what I have is event landed. So in this game you don't want to land because uh basically the point of it is to just keep going up. And so event landed would mean you landed on the ground, right? So, you know, right now. That event we're saying well first it's gonna play feedback, then it's this is basically saying one in four chance because it's doing a random bool and it's saying true and then so this is a one in four chance and if you get that it will show interstitial. So the show interstitial, this is how you get the banner. I mean the interstitial. So you just say show interstitial, right? Okay. But this one you don't want. You want the one that says easy ads on top and you want to do the one that's all one word. That one, that one's is one that works. If you do the other one, it will not work with this plugin. Uh, this one right here, it doesn't work, right? You want to use this one. And you can do all events on show, on click, on close. You can do whatever you want. Like if we wanted something on close, on show, on click, on close, right? And then print string, then add shows. And this is just resetting an orientation and opening level. All right. So that's basically all you have to do is this block right here. It will show it. And if you want to do a banner, you just do show banner. And you can get this. You can get this as a is it ready okay and then you can get banner show banner and then it is is on bottom so if this is blank it'll be at the top if you check this it'll be at the bottom um, then so that's cool right and then uh, another thing you want to do is before you test it on your device this currently wouldn't work just because we don't have it set up with our app ID. So, plugins. Easy ads, add mob, right? Right here. If we're doing iOS or Android, I'm doing iOS. So, you get your iOS app ID. So, if we go back to Chrome here, um, and let's just go to the grapple gun, because this is the game, right? So, you would go to uh, app settings, and you'd get this app ID right here. So, you could copy this and paste it right here then you gotta get your iOS banner interstitial if you're not doing a banner or interstitial like if you're just doing interstitial you're just doing banner you don't have to do both and if you're doing a reward you do put that there so um, to get those you in the add mob you go to add units and then you add add unit and so if you want to do like an interstitial select and then you enter a name and then you hit create and then it would give you a uh, it give you some something that looks like this, and then you want the add unit ID, this one right here. Um, so if you copy that, and then you go over here, you paste it in here, right? So I already did that, but when you're done, you can. That's pretty much all you need to do for this. If you want to do um, like get Vungle ads, Unity ads, Chart Boost, you can do all that. So I'm just gonna show you how to do Vungle because that's what I have in my app. So you can do. Um, what would you what you what you would want to do is go to the section that's called mediation right here and here is see when this one's bungle so I'll just show you how to add a new one so you create a new one you say iOS choose add format you for mine I would say interstitial but you could do the same thing for banner we call this test group. all right and then um, include all countries sure status enabled add add units uh, Okay. We'll we'll do this for now, I guess. We'll do this one. I'll I'll get rid of this later. But basically, what you want to do is add an ad source. So you can't do all of these with this plugin, but you can do Vungle, um, Unity, or Chart Boost. So uh, search up Vungle. V U N G L E. Right. Select. 
then well actually hold on let me just show you in the ad sources so the fungal here edit this so you need your reporting API key so to get this you have to go to vungle.com and it's similar for uh, unity you just have to get the information it says and if you don't know where to get that you can probably just google how you get that in whatever ad network uh, whoops login so yeah here we go uh, yeah placements so uh, yeah first you want to go to applications and we're doing game of rage here or grapple gun I guess so you want to get um, reporting app ID I think what was that what was this API key uh, I forget how you got this exactly I'm pretty sure you go my account um, yeah this one you want to get this and paste it in here okay save and and then you will later it will also ask for a placement reference ID I believe which you can find actually right here um, it'll be right there and then if you want it might want your application app ID it's right there alright so and then you just add and then the confusing part is like it'll say um, add mob network and bungle right here and it'll say you have to put an ECPM on both so I just put a dollar on both and it seems to work fine so yeah um, that's that that's pretty much it um, so when you're in Unreal Engine of course when you're playing this it won't the ads won't actually show in the Unreal Engine they only work on iOS or Android but yeah they're mobile so kind of cool so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video see you later